Hey guys, welcome back to the This Is Soul Skate Shop YouTube channel. I am Ivo, and today we're gonna discuss the right position to start inline skating, so let's go. So real short, the right position is, your shoulders should be over your knees, and your knees should be over your toes, like this. You're nice and stable. The most common mistake that I see when we, for example, rent out skates here at This Is All Skate Shop, you can rent skates and go into the Fondel Park. When people do this, they put on their skates and then they stand up really straight like straight. this. Never do this, always stay low on your skates. The second thing I see them doing a lot is that they want to go into the park with a backpack on. Also, you should never wear a backpack because you want to be safe on skates and most people fall backwards. If you're standing like this, you're super stable. If you fall, you fall more forward than backwards. And with the backpack on, the backpack also pushes you to the back. And this position here is also um, really exhausting. Like it's, if you don't train these muscles here, it's kind of hard to keep this position for more than 10, 15 minutes if you're not a trained skater. If you have a backpack on, it's, uh, probably impossible for you to keep this position for longer than five minutes because of the weight of the backpacks. But instead, maybe it's better to wear like uh, a hip bag like this. It's super cool, trendy. Uh, you can buy them, also for, of course, at This Is All Skate Shop. First mistake, stay low, uh, never stand up. Second mistake, don't wear a backpack. What you should do when you lose your balance is just put one knee on the ground like this. We have an entire video just about the things that you should know before you start skating. Check that one out on our YouTube. I go a lot deeper in this falling technique and we have another video just about falling techniques as well. Another part of the skating position is how you edge. So edging is what you do with your ankles like this. You have a center edge, an inner edge and an outer edge. And when you start skating, you want to stand center edge so that you're nice and stable. A part of having a good edging control is having good skates. So if you have really cheap beginner skates, it's really hard to control your edge because you're gonna skate a lot like this. Good skates are about uh, 200 to 250 euros. The bottom price is about 150. Don't go cheaper than that because then it's gonna be really unstable in the sideways flex. Don't get those cheap recreational fitness style soft boots from K2 or rollerblades because they are especially really weak on the ankles and don't give you the control that you need. One thing that you can do is tighten your laces so that your foot is really locked into your skate and that gives you more control to stand nice and center on your edging. When you're gonna start practicing this position, you need to find a nice surface. Of course, now we're on a carpet, so this is good when you wanna practice it standing still, but now we're gonna do it outside. Are you ready? Let's go. Right next to the shop is the Fondel Park. And this is the biggest park in the Netherlands where people also skate. Um, and the road to the Fondel Park here is this little alley where also a lot of people bicycle. And there's a little bit of uh, incline, so it goes down. So I use this skating position here to stand nice and stable when I go down uh, paths that are a little bit steep. When you don't do this skating position is when there's, for example, a little crack on the ground here, then you always put your foot in front of each other because if you use the skating position, if, the, if there's like stuff on the road, like uh, little twigs, like from the trees, or a little ditch like this one, if you do it like this here, oh, uh, then you're gonna fall, so don't do that. Oh, hey, look, that's my friend Eric. Yo, what's up, Eric? Yo. Boom. Eric is also uh, skating here, probably practicing his skating position, right? <laughs> yeah. So we discussed uh, where you're gonna do the skating position and how to do it. Uh, now we're gonna discuss when to actually do it. Um, because you wanna do it when you wanna feel safe. And of course, when you start inline skating, you always wanna feel safe, so you always do it. Never stand up straight as a beginner but even if you're one of the best skaters in the world like my friend eric um, you still do it before and after your tricks um, i have some 
non-aggressive skating friends, of course, as well, just freestyle skaters. And when I want to learn them tricks, they, even if they're like really good skaters, they still make this mistake. It's like one of the most common mistakes for uh, regular freestyle skaters who start really doing tricks is that they land their tricks and immediately start to do a stride of the, or they want land on one foot and they don't really realize that they should always land in the stable skating position. This is how not to do a 360. Yes, this is how you should do a 360. Be sure to practice this technique and other techniques. You can do this, of course, by yourself, but also you can do it with the teacher. We here at This Is All Skate Shop have a skate school as well in Amsterdam where you can do private lessons or group lessons as an adult or a kid. We do birthday parties as well. And uh, as long as you at least try to skate and improve yourself every time you go, you're gonna be a good skater and you're gonna enjoy skating. We make a new video every week, so subscribe to the channel because there's more content coming and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.